cyclic AMP and cyclic GMP. So, cyclic AMP is more common second messenger, cyclic GMP is less common, right? Then, cyclic AMP has less sustained response, less sustained response, but on the other hand, cyclic GMP has long term and sustained cellular response right then what are the enzymes involved in the formation and destruction of these two second messengers so atp will form cyclic amp and cyclic amp gets destroyed to 5 dash amp so what are the enzymes here enzyme is adenyl cyclase and here enzyme is phosphodiesterase right then similarly gtp will form cyclic gmp and this is destroyed to 5 dash gmp what are the enzymes guanylate cyclase guanylate cyclase and here it is the same enzyme phosphodiesterase right this guanylate cyclase has two forms membrane bound membrane bound and cytosolic form of enzyme right now next is this cyclic amp activates protein kinase a and this kinase will cause phosphorylation of various events. On the other hand, cyclic GMP activates protein kinase G and this will also cause phosphorylation but of different events, right? So, both are kinases, so obviously they will cause phosphorylation only. And it is very easy to learn. See, cyclic AMP, so it is protein kinase A. Here it is cyclic GMP, so it is protein kinase G, right? Now, hormones which uses cyclic AMP are which hormones? Group 2A hormones. And hormones which uses cyclic GMP are group 2B hormones, okay? So, which are these hormones? They are glucagon, LH, FSH, human chorionic gonadotrophin, HCG, calcitonin, calcitonin and catecholamines and catecholamines, right? Then cyclic GMP, it has role in, it has role in visual cycle, then it has role in vasodilatory effect by nitric oxide and here cytosolic guanylate cyclase is used. Then it has role in activation of activation of peptide hormones peptide hormones like ANP and BNP. What is the full form? atrial and brain natriuretic peptides okay and here membrane bound guanylate cyclase form is used in case of ANP and BNP okay 